Ticket sales for Mariah Carey's Las Vegas residency at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace are being described as a disaster by inside sources. Page 6 reports that seats are still available for the July 5th opening night of her three-month residency. It's a disaster, one source said. Scalpers bought a bunch of the ticks and are freaking out. Carey fired her manager, Stella Balochnikov, in November. Balochnikov was reportedly going to book her at a smaller venue in Vegas so they could keep announcing sold-out shows. Instead, they put her back in Caesars with 4,300 seats, the source said. Carey's publicist denies any sort of financial or ticket sale woes, telling Page Six, these allegations are false and come from a source that must be desperate to pretend to be in the know. Look forward to seeing you at the Vegas show if you can get a seat. Live Nation told Page Six that it's very pleased with ticket sales despite the rumors surrounding Carrie's residency. Carrie spurred rumors about financial struggles when she sold her 35-carat diamond engagement ring she received from her ex-fiancé, Australian billionaire and media mogul James Packer. Though the ring was estimated to be worth $10 million. Page 6 reports that she sold the ring to a Los Angeles jeweler for just $2.1 million in May. Mariah has been very vocal recently about her choice to move forward in her life surrounded by positivity, her publicist told the news outlet at the time. That requires leaving emotional and material baggage behind, including an old engagement ring from an ex-boyfriend. Another source told the outlet that the jeweler signed a confidentiality agreement and is now selling the one-of-a-kind piece of jewelry. Mariah Carey's public relations people are desperately trying to keep the story from the press, and have threatened the jeweler with litigation if he discloses her name, the source explained. Another Carey insider told the publication that the ring was worth far less than $10 million. She owns multiple homes her entire catalog of music, and she's had numerous successful tours and residencies, the insider said, denying any cash flow problems. The 48-year-old Carrie is also facing a civil rights lawsuit from Balochnikov, who claims Gary owes her millions in unpaid commissions. Balochnikov's attorney called Carrie a train wreck and said the lawsuit could be a blockbuster expose of Gary's life. Carrie's rep called the claims frivolous and baseless.